welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, in today's video, I just wanted to do a quick update as to what's happening next week in the sky. We've got Saturn is going to be stationary. Uh, Saturn will go retrograde very soon. But the brilliant part is that he's going to be stationary for a few days. Now, he's going to be stationary from... 16th of April through to the 20th so that's next week on I'm pretty sure it's Monday to Friday yeah so this is really good and this is really good because when Saturn is stationary he's he's just at this place where he's about to go retrograde now is he going backwards in the sky no retrograde is that we're moving faster so Saturn will appear to be moving retrograde in our skies, but he's not going backwards, he's going forwards just the same. Anytime there's a retrograde period, I always like to think of it in my head as, well, the Earth is moving faster. So when it's Mercury retrograde, I like to think, okay, well, we're just moving faster than Mercury. We're just moving faster than Mercury, and maybe some of that mercurial energy will feel a bit distant or not as accessible to us. So that's what I tend to think there. We do have Saturn retrograde coming up. Um, Saturn turns retrograde on the... I can tell you which day, actually. In this period where he's stationary, he does kind of start to go backwards a little bit. Uh, let me tell you. Let me just go up and down the days in my little time machine here. I like to go into the future and go back. <laughs> um, we're in next week and I'm just looking at the 16th and yeah, he goes retrograde, okay, on the 18th. So he's just at that point where there's a slowdown and there's some stationary time just before he seemingly goes backwards, but what's actually happening is that we're just moving faster. And Saturn's going to be in retrograde until... I might as well talk a little bit about the retrograde here too. Well, I might save it for another video. I just want this one to be about Saturn being stationary because this is actually an important time. I think I might do another video for... Saturn retrograde. Um, we'll see how I go for time, but definitely Saturn being stationary is really cool because you think about it, he's the karmic accountant and the karmic accountant is going to be kind of still. So some people believe, and I do not condone this and I don't agree with it myself, but some people believe that it's a, it's a good time to be mischievous because um, He's stationary, so he's not recording the Akashic records, he's not recording your karma, and you can kind of get away with whatever you want. I disagree with that. I do not agree with that at all. But it's a nice illustrative point because it gets you to think about, okay, yeah, what is Saturn's function and, and what is happening when he's stationary and what are the advantages for us? Now, I believe that this is a brilliant time to really put your head down and get a lot of work done and not just any kind of work complete completing projects completing things that you've started tying off any loose ends uh, you know if you've got lots of things to take care of like that get them all done get them all out of the way get organized another activity that I think is really really good is networking it's a great time for networking, I think, and strategizing, planting seeds. If you can't complete on certain projects for whatever reason, let's say you are waiting on other people uh, or you're waiting for the right opportunity or there's lots of different reasons why sometimes we can't complete on things, use that time to visualize the end result or that it has completed. So use that time to visualize as much as you can. Definitely visualizing, strategizing, uh, planting seeds, networking. You know, if you have a business and you want to get the name of the business out there, do that because we've still got Saturn's energy with us. But I think the advantage to us here on Earth is that his energy is with us, it's still accessible to us, but 
he's not moving forward in his usual way and so he's not able to delay us potentially uh, as Saturn is known to do. Saturn is famous for delaying things and I think anyone who's got strong Saturn in their chart can put their hand up to that, can put their hand up to the fact that good old Saturn has been delaying them on various fronts. But you know, on that point of delay, the delay very often isn't without wisdom uh, and it isn't done in a mean way or in a punishing way or it's very often done for our own good. But if you are quite the get up and go person, and you do feel Saturn's delay on you, I think next week is going to be a fantastic time to just get lots of stuff done. Just go, go, go. Get it done. Meet people. Run around. Have meetings. Do what you need to do. Network. Uh, be dynamic. And, and be busy. That's what I'm thinking next week is going to be a really good week for. Because... When Saturn does go retrograde, which he is doing and will be for, I think, um, let me have a look how many months. I'll just touch on it very quickly. Yeah, so he goes direct. Uh, it looks like a kind of start of September type time. So yeah, that's a while. And I remember last year's Saturn retrograde and it was a very quiet period in time in my life. Uh, yeah, but I mean, I think that was actually for other reasons. I can see my other transits were not brilliant at that time. Uh, I don't foresee any such problems this time. But well, you know, every day I'm learning more and more about these transits. If you would like to see how your transits are going to play out over the next few months, then do come and have a look at my website or just pop me an email. Uh, you're very welcome to get in touch and I can work with you to show you where there might be some delays happening in your life, explain why, explain when things are going to ease up again. Because as we know with life, sometimes it's all go and sometimes it's a bit slow. So that's how it is. But very often it is that we're waiting on universal energies. And this is a topic that fascinates me as well. When is it the universe and when is it us? I might cover that in a future video. So do subscribe, come back to the channel, see what's new uh, and I look forward to seeing you next time.